Our top story and the return of Hugo Chavez to Venezuela. We're joined by Algeria's Latin American editor, Lucia Newman, who's live from Buenos Aires. Lucia, uh, we're seeing supporters of Hugo Chavez out on the streets of Caracas right now, but a, a very low homecoming for him. Why do you think this is? Well, absolutely, as has been really the whole uh, the history of the saga since he left uh, Venezuela to be operated for the first for the fourth time more than two months ago. Everything is shrouded by mystery in a certain a great degree of secrecy. So it is was in keeping with that that he arrived back in Venezuela covered by the darkness of the night. He arrived at around uh, two o'clock, two thirty in the morning Venezuela time and was taken immediately to the military hospital in Caracas. It's clear that he is still not well. A photograph of him, which was made public. Friday shows him still lying flat on his back in bed. He is using a tube to help him breathe. Uh, he is surrounded by his children. He's smiling, but he still can't speak. But clearly, they felt that it was imp very, very important. And knowing mm. Chavez, he must feel that it's very, very important to be back in Venezuela, even though he still has not recovered. And certainly, there's been a lot of pressure for him to return, as you say, Lucia. But of course, what many people are wondering is whether he's come back to uh, face the different challenges the country is dealing with right now, or whether he's come back to make a smooth transition there are a lot of questions has he come back to take power again has he come home to die in his fatherland as some are speculating or to simply announce elections uh, none of that we can say for sure at this time what is very clear is that right now there is a tremendous amount of political pressure in venezuela for the president to return the political cost of his absence is growing by the day as you said earlier there has been a, a nearly a 50 percent devaluation of the bolivar just in the last week alone uh, prices are rising, crime is rising, uh, the, the, the opposition is continually calling and asking questions about why he hasn't returned. So clearly he is back now to try. Just his very presence, it is hoped, will help put out some of those political fires. And Lucia, uh, how has the opposition benefited or not from this absence? And what's likely to be their reaction now that Chavez is back? Exactly. Well, from the very beginning, the Chavez camp knew that the longer that President Chavez was away, the more the opposition would try to take advantage of that. That is simply the political realities that exist everywhere in the world. And the opposition has been making slowly inroads by saying, look, the people that Chavez left in charge can't cope with the situation. There have been uh, severe food shortages over the last two months, the worst in fact in four years. Food shortages aren't new, but Chavez hasn't been around to put out those fires. He hasn't been around to use his charisma to try to placate uh, the, the uh, opposition, and I mean not the opposition rather, but the protests that could arise from all these sorts of things. And so the opposition will clearly try to show that without Chavez the country can't run and it cannot run efficiently. And this means that if President Chavez plans to, to call for new elections, he has to do so as quickly as possible. That is certainly what many people in his camp are saying. Lucia, thank you very much indeed.